Neighbours are coming down the stairs. They're going to make loads of noise, loads of chatter. Are you done? I'm constantly surrounded by noise. It's really flipping irritating. <sighs> Always when I'm about to film as well. But anyway, what are we making today? Well, you guessed it by the title. Filet a filet o fish. Filet o fish. Filet o fish. Filet o filet o filet o fish. Mm. And I'm going to state at this point, I've never had a filet o fish. Never tried it. Just never crossed my mind to buy it. Now it's a very divisive sandwich, isn't it? It's kind of like the marmite of the McDonald's menu. Like you either love it or you hate it. Now before we get into this, if you're new here, you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. And when you do, hit the little bell icon, allow all notifications. That way, when I upload a new video, you get told about it. So get your face down here and let's see what we're dealing with. What do you want? You can smell the fish, can't you? So here we have it then, our filio fish. Let's see what we've got. Well, it smells of fish. Oh, <laughs> wow, McDonald's, wow. I mean, what the heck, McDonald's? Look at this. What an absolute mess. The person who's made this burger just does not care at all, do they? Or they're one of those people that really hate the filio fish and so mess up every single one. Look at it, it's not even straight. We can definitely do better than this, can't we? Right, so we've got a bun on the top, some tartar sauce on the top of the bun. We've got some kind of random square shaped piece of fish. That's how it's come, honestly. Look at the state of it. Like, it, I can't get it off because it's stuck to the cheese. One second, I'm gonna have to kind of readjust this. So we've got a piece of fish there, whatever kind of fish derivative it is. And that looks like half a slice of cheese. That's not even a full slice. Okay, well, we'll try and reassemble it. Don't worry, McDonald's, I'll do your job. Very soft bun. Uh, I did read that they actually steam their buns, which is why it's so soft. I'm not gonna do that, because I've got brioche buns and they're already really soft, so I think we can get away with that. Okay, well, there it is, the rather sad, pathetic looking McDonald's version. So let's make mine. And the first thing I need to do is make some tartar sauce. Right, okay, so I'm gonna make a very simple but flavorful tartar sauce to go with our filio fish or adamo fish. First off, I've got some mayonnaise. Now you can mess around and make your own mayonnaise if you want, but just for convenience, I'm going to use store-bought. So I'm gonna go with one, four dessert spoons of mayonnaise. Then I'm gonna get some gherkins or little cornichons. And I want about a tablespoon's worth. Look how cute they are. Look at those little cocktail cornichons. Tiny little dill pickles, the babies, Ah. Slice up the baby dill pickles. And I want it quite fine, but I still want some texture there. So there's our gherkins, in they go. And next I've got a small handful of capers. Now I actually bought some for this video. Now these are the caper berries, they're actually much larger than what I need, so I'm gonna save them for something else. But luckily I've got the ones that I actually needed, the little smaller ones, okay? That's what I'm using today. And I'm gonna chop up these capers, in they go. Next, I'm gonna add some parsley. Just a small handful like that. I'm gonna remove the big, thick, woodier stalks because I don't really want them in there. Now, the whole idea of tartar sauce is it's a piquant sauce, you know? It's acidic, you know, it's got a bit of saltiness through it. And that's gonna complement the fish, I think. Well, it will, because fish and tartar sauce are a match made in heaven. So there's our parsley, in we go. And I'm also gonna add a bit of dill, because dill and fish, again, are a match made in heaven. But I'm not going to add too much because dill is very strong. So just a small pinch of fronds is going to be fine. Again, I'm going to run my knife through that. In they go. Next, I've got a lemon here. And I'm just going to slice off about a quarter and then squeeze that into the tartar sauce. You won't eat that. That's lemon. You will not like that. That's for sure. Let's mix it up. It does need a little bit of seasoning. So I'm going to add some pepper and just a pinch of salt. Be careful with salt because depending on the brand of mayonnaise that you use will kind of determine how much salt you need because some brands are more salty than others. Another mix. So I'm gonna cover this with cling film, pop it in the fridge whilst we concentrate on the fish. Okay, so I've got my fish then. I'm using cod loin 
just because I think it's a nice meaty fish, got a lovely texture, and I think it'll work better in the filio fish. I think McDonald's used Pollock, but I'm gonna use this. So I've got some nice fish there. So what we need to do is bread it and fry it off. Right, so I've got my breading station set up. What I am gonna do first is season this flour. Some salt. And just a little bit of salt, just on the fish as well. And I'm using panko breadcrumbs, just because they're nicer, you know? Like, they give a nice crispy coat in. They're just better. I've got two eggs here. Crack that into our bowl. Just a pinch of salt to the eggs, just because that kind of helps break down the white. And it makes it less gloopy for this sort of thing. Whisk up the eggs. So I'm gonna take the fish. You know the drill. Dust it with flour into the egg and then straight into the breadcrumbs. Make sure to pack it on, get all sides coated, and I'm not gonna go for a double dip because I don't want the crumb to be too heavy. I want the fish to be the star. On we go. Now obviously the fish patties that they use are perfectly like square, but listen, fish isn't square. You don't see square fish in the sea, do you? So that's the fish fillet done, that's breaded. Now there's enough mixture to do a few more here. I'm only making two. So I'm not gonna make a sea of flipping filio fish when there's just me, am I? So if you've got like four or five pieces of fish, this will cover that no problem. But what I'm gonna do is pop these fillets into the fridge, let them sit to one side for a second, whilst I clean up and get the oil ready to fry them off. That was pretty bad, McDonald's. Poor show. Assembling a burger like that and then sending it out to a customer. That was no accident. I can tell by how it was assembled, that was no accident. Someone consciously made the effort to make that crap. It's not like someone put it in the box and it slid. It's not enough room in the box for that to happen. And also the fish was on top of the cheese. The cheese melted, so it stopped like that. So whatever way you put that on there, it stuck. The cheese acted like a glue. Then you threw on the BS tartar sauce and then slapped a bun on it and then sent it out to me. There you go, there's your filly of fish. But I paid three pound nine pence for that. Three pound nine pence I'm never gonna get back. Three pound nine pence, that could have bought me. Well, not a lot, but still, maybe the employee doesn't like their job. Maybe they're fed up. If you're out there watching this and you served me that BS, badly assembled filio fish, I forgive you, I forgive you. Cause that's the sort of person I am. Or maybe the employee is an actual fish. I'd be pretty miffed off if I was a fish and some plucky idiot came into my restaurant and ordered my dead cousin between two slices of bread. And if that is the case, well, you might want to find another job. Mr. Fishy Fish Face McDonald's employee. No employee of the month for you. Hmm. <coughs> Let's get on with it. Okay, so I've got my pan here. And what I'm going to do is just add some oil. I'm using, what's this, sunflower, a nice neutral oil. And we're gonna shallow fry the fish. I'm not gonna deep fry it. So I'm gonna get this onto a heat and I'm gonna get the oil fairly hot, not screaming hot, just hot enough so we can fry the fish. Right, okay, let's see how the oil is getting on. Feels quite warm. I'm just gonna test it with a chopstick. And if it starts fizzing around the base of the chopstick, you know the oil is kind of ready. So let's get the fish in. Oh yes, that's perfect. Now I would say they're quite thick fillets, so they're probably gonna take between four, maybe five minutes each side to cook them all the way through. And then that coating is nice and crispy, nice and golden brown. And once they're cooked, we can drain them on some kitchen paper and we can assemble this burger. Burger? It's not really a burger, is it? It's a sandwich. Is it? Is it a sandwich or a burger? It's not fish burger, is it? Fish sandwich, I don't know. Oh, okay, right, these puppies are ready to come out. Let's get them onto that kitchen paper. But once that excess oil is kind of drained off, we can get on and assemble a burger. Right, okay, let's assemble this puppy. Now I am itching to toast this bun. I'm not going to because the filet of fish isn't toasted. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is lay down the processed cheese. And I'm using a whole slice McDonald's at the back there. And I'm gonna go on with the fish. On it goes. And then we've got some tartar sauce. Okay, on it goes. And then I'm just gonna pop the lid on. And there is my version of a filio fish. Let's move that to one side so we see what the McDonald's one looks like next to it. <coughs> uh, 
There you go. And I had to reassemble it myself as well, guys. So there's the McDonald's one, and there's mine. Well, I suppose the only thing left to do now is to do a taste test. Right, so we need to taste these. We'll go for the McDonald's one first. Mmm, it just kind of smells greasy and that sort of cheap processed fish. Let's go in. Very odd. Mmm, the fish is kind of mushy. Hasn't got a lot of flavour to be honest. The tartar sauce is quite good, nice and acidic, but pretty uninspiring to be honest. I wouldn't buy it again. Three pound, nine pence McDonald's. Mine probably cost about the same to be honest. And here it is. I mean, come on, there's no competition, is there? Look at that. All right, that's a thing of beauty. So should we give it a whirl? Well, I think we should. Hmm, where do I start? There. That is like night and day. Look at that fish. Look at that nice flaky cod. Do you want a bite? Do you want a bite? You can't have it, it's mine. I have outdone myself with this one. But the fish is nice and moist, lovely and flaky. But because I use cod, it's got a nice firm texture as well, so you know you're kind of biting into something. That McDonald's one is just mush. The tartar sauce just complements it perfectly. I don't see the point in the cheese. If I made these again, I'd probably omit that. Because um, you can't really taste it. But the nice soft bun, the tartar sauce, working with the fish. It's a fantastic little sandwich, guys. Make it. Well, what did you think? Did I nail it or did I screw it? I think I nailed it. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. But I'll be definitely making this again. A McDonald's. You can go screw yourself, actually. But anyway, guys, that wraps up today's video. Thanks again for watching. If you're new here and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, click the little bell icon, allow all notifications. That way, when I upload a new video, you get notified. Because by you watching my videos, sharing them, liking, subscribing, commenting and all that, it does help this channel out. I've seen a bit more growth over the past few weeks since I've started uploading consistently. The best way you can help me is to watch the videos all the way through, like it, share it and do what you can. And I know I bang on about it, but I do appreciate it. I honestly do. Without you guys, I'd be nothing. I'd just be waffling on into the void of YouTube and no one would care. You're all such awesome people, you know, you're so supportive and we kind of go on this journey together. But next stop, 50,000 subscribers. But anyway, I'm gonna love and leave you. Thanks again for watching, guys. And I'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video. And bye for now. Do you want a bit of fish? Bud? You want a bit of fish? You want it? It's nice. It's out of the ocean.